Okay. Well, well, it's good to meet you. Um, yeah, okay, good to meet you too. are on the air, so I guess we're ready to go here. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So great. So yeah. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, you know, I always like to find out about the why to what you're doing, and you know, a little bit about the the you know your your business and the opportunity and what you're looking for. Okay. So just to go in a little bit about myself, I've been in the medical aesthetics world for about 12 and a half years. We are a med spa and we specialize in a lot of unique different things, uh, such as I'm bringing machines and stuff from like Italy, Europe, places like that, where nowhere else in the U.S. actually has rights to them. And I'm actually looking at licensing about 30 out of the 50 states with that. Uh, but that's just that part. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts with my bill. I've told multiple people about it. And it gets really exciting where my background is, is like I said, I've been in this industry for about 12 and a half years. I'm a licensed dental assistant, licensed medical assistant, uh, phlebotomist, laser technician, laser safety officer. And I was also a trainer for a couple of different laser companies that actually ended up going belly up. But what I'm looking at doing is I'm looking at building a whole wellness empire, I guess you can call it. Uh, so we're going to be actually doing a school that actually does laser training. And it's an existing school that I found uh, that has that. And they have a free cash flow right now of about uh, 1.7 to 2 million okay. in free cash flow. And I'm looking at acquiring that. And he's going to help me put it into uh, locations in Arizona, Utah, Colorado, and uh, other surrounding areas. But him and his wife or him and his partner actually want to get, uh, they want to move on to the next thing. They've been doing it for 10 years. He actually has an attorney background. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's kind of like the next step that we're looking at going. Okay, great. So tell me a little bit, like I said, like what, what is the, you know, what, in terms of what you're looking to, you know, raise, what are some of the things that you're, that you need right now that could help, you know, scale your business right now, you know, in addition to obviously funding. So additional to obviously funding, we're also, I mean, looking for connections that can get us to that next level of growth maybe some endorsement, uh, just a direction of like some coaching to get us the right infrastructure. Cause I really don't want to do, uh, like when I pitched Harrington earlier today, I don't want to really do like a business opportunity or uh, a franchise. I actually want to own them corporately. Got it. And I want that kind of infrastructure. Uh, my goals are to be 30 out of 50 States. And on top of the schools, this is where it gets exciting. The last month and a half, I've actually, uh, came across a subscription-based business that's already got one location inside of a gym that has 750 location growth contract. It's a 90-page contract that I can send you. But it would give us option to grow our standalone locations. And we would also be able to bring the employees over from the training school to any of our locations, our standalones or the gym. So it would just be one, one heck of an empire. Wow, okay connections okay and when you talked about coaching you mean in terms of coaching what is this you know the the in terms of getting your your business plan in in order or is it more for direction from where your business plan is yeah more direction from where our business plan is but i don't want to like slip and fall so i want somebody that that understands like where where we're going and the direction we're going got it so got it all right so that and and some and obviously some connections that can help you. And, and I guess it always can help too. If, it, if, it, uh, if an investor also has those connections and it wants to be uh, involved in some way that could always help out. Exactly. It'd be awesome to have that mentor. Cause I mean, I've already grown the business as far, as far as I have, and it's been awesome. I just have, uh, however, in the past had the wrong kind of connections, wrong investors, uh, but my first business that I was partnered with an investor, we actually brought in 4.8 million. But then he kicked me to the curb for me being gay. So it was sexual preference. But other than that, well, it was well that comes down to, to values and principles, right? You know, people are going to be opinionated and yeah. whatever the case. I mean, it's not right. And it doesn't matter what your, your sexuality is. It comes down to, yeah. again, values, principles, who you're looking to serve and where those people that align with that, that's what's most important. So you probably in that way, probably better off without that person at this time, not worth it. 
Yeah. And I work. And I love where I love where mine and your conversations going. The other thing is, I actually looked uh, you up a while back when when Gianni told me who you were and everything. I was like, "Holy crap, he's a member of CEO Space." I've been a member of CEO Space since two thousand. Oh wow! So yeah, you've already got easy. that. Yeah, like, investing up. I, I, up. I just saw I just <laughs> saw uh, Bernie um, this past weekend in LA. I was there for a. I had to uh, evaluate some companies out there while I was out there. So I was at an event that he happened to be at. Uh, and, you know, I haven't, I hadn't seen him in a, you know, about a year. Or so uh, it was good to catch up. Yeah, That's Bernie's great. Awesome. Where, where are you based again? So I'm, I was based out of Salt Lake city when I got the, uh, when I was the member there, but me and my ex-boyfriend moved from Salt got Lake it. to Arizona and then the business took off and now I'm just in Arizona. But I used to, I was even going back and forth. I sold a business opportunity. This is why like my, uh, that I've had a bad taste in my mouth. I sold two business ops in Florida. They ended up giving me a real bad name because the people actually were buying knockoff machines from China mm. and they were like burning people, taking people's money, not giving them results. And I was like, you're doing this under my business name. I don't want anything to do. Well, yeah, you with you want to you know again. Yeah, it comes down to that integrity. again. Your 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 reputation and your values, and you don't want to be associated with shady with shady uh, business. No, you know, even if you're taking shortcuts, and not doing at all. Certain things like that. So, no, that's great. And and in terms of you talked about you that you're generating in terms of revenue. What would you say you're generating right now in revenue in in this in this particular uh, business that you're discussing with me yeah the business that i'm discussing with you right now before inquiring the schools and everything it's been a blessing because i was able to get my dad to be a partner and we just used some of his credit and then my boyfriends but i was a i wasn't able to do the kind of money that the investor did before where we did the 4.8 because it was all about marketing because when it comes down to the procedures we're doing they're kind of like a one and done or a two and done uh, but I went from the 4.8 with them to now we're anywhere from about 650 to on track to make about 800. Okay. Wow. All right. Year. So again, this isn't pre-revenue, which is great. That's a, a positive, you yeah. know, especially when it comes to how much are you looking right now to raise in terms of funds for the, either, is it for a particular, uh, next phase or maybe overall that we're looking at for the, for the business that you yeah, it's a ne it's a next phase, and I can go over that. So the whole raise that I'm looking at, I don't know what kind of percentage I would need to talk to you probably offline with it and see what you think, but I'm looking for a minimum of 1.7. That 1.7 is going to cover the school because the school purchase is like six. The the bank that he sent me to will give us anywhere for, depending on the people's books and depending on my experience and the experience of the team, it will be anywhere from 3 million to 4.5 million with a working line of cre uh, credit for 1 million. The guy's willing to do another million in cash carry. And then I would have to come up with the additional 1 million or something like that. So the one, the 1 1.7, a million of that's going towards purchasing that school that has that free cash flow of 1.7 to 2.5. Got it. Give or take, depending on what year it is, uh, as well as also some of that, the 700 would be to grow both my Arizona office and my Las Vegas office and add more marketing and ramp that up and give it maybe three or four months to show an investor what I can really do. And then I would go Got after it. that second ask to really grow. In terms of that raise, if it were from a, you know, a single uh, angel, in this case, when we're talking about 1.7, we're, you know, we're going to be looking at accredited money, right? So, so we're going to have to go yeah. th through either SEC or, or be creative in terms, there's other ways to do these things. Uh, with that yeah. being said, like what, like what would be the, the benefit or the return to that entity or that single uh, angel that, you know, if they were to put the 1.7 up? So I was thinking anywhere of the ballpark of like 30 to 35 percent equity is what I'm okay. willing to give up. And uh, the second phase, the, this phase that we're talking about raising, uh, just to go into it, the exciting part. Yeah, the school's very exciting, but that they, they, they synchronize with each other. But the thing that's really exciting about this is I was able to come across this the location that's going to be the, the, the business that's going to put us into the 750 gyms. There's only just one location right now. 
they had the bad luck of an investor screwing them over. So they're in a, in a situation where they're cash flowing 15 to 20,000 a month, but they're not willing to risk anything to, to go back down to those members. So I'm able to inquire them at a hundred percent with that growth plan. We're thinking that inside this well-known gym, one of two things are going to happen. One, we're either going to be able to grow all of them or two, we're not going to make it past 50 locations. And the gym itself is going to come in and say, uh, we're going to try to squeeze you out or purchase the other rights because they don't want to be the ones stubbing their toe. Because what they're doing is they're actually taking old racquetball courts and giving us about 800 to 1,000 square feet inside their gym. And there's 700. Got it. Locations. Got it. I, I know what you're saying. They're, they're, uh, my son plays basketball at a uh, at a place where the, this is where the games are. And they, they used to be a lot of racquetball, tennis, and they're converting a lot of stuff to like basketball courts now for some reason. Because there's a lot of leagues yeah. and stuff like that. So – Maybe I don't know if the racquetball is not as popular. I have no idea, but <laughs> it's not. It's not. They would rather put something yeah, exactly. Out there. They got to so fill the like, space. I right? want to that they got to fill the space. <laughs> so what we could do here is because yeah. uh, we got about about a minute or two. Um, what I like to do is like you know obviously we'll probably have to maybe chat a little bit online to get some more specifics. Uh, maybe uh, to have yeah. uh, Diani, you know, uh, you know, send me your deck uh, so I can take a look at it. Um, I do have a, I, I do have a couple startups I'm involved in personally that I'm, you know, I'm on, you know, on the board I'm involved in, I'm helping a couple others, but okay. I can look at your stuff, maybe looking at maybe the end of next week. So there's no rush, but it, I, I always like to be transparent okay. because I won't have, you know, cause I have a lot of things, but I, I would like to look and see with what you're doing. Cause obviously the, the, the health and wellness area is an area of, of interest to me. I, you know, I'm invested in. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm invested in certain things that, uh, you know, that are related to the medical diagnostic areas, uh, but that also includes uh, yeah. everything to do with health and wellness. So that, it, that's an area that I'm, I, I have a lot of uh, interest personally. And then, uh, you know, also wherever applicable, Absolutely. I can make connections to resources, uh, maybe potential partners or, or, uh, or yeah. you know, obviously, uh, you know, uh, investors, either through my company or through other people that I know. So this is That'd great. Awesome. Well, I, I really respect that you stand true to your, you know, the why you do what you do versus just what you do. That's very yep. important. And uh, it's an actual passion of mine. Like everybody that comes to my door, all my clients know that it's a unique thing. I talk to them about everything we reason. It's not like they're coming into like your run of the mill med spa where they're just getting a professional treatment we're actually turning them into like a family member of ours. And that's, that's kind yep. of the thing that I want to do. And that's also why with our brand, we're also the only brand in Arizona and Las Vegas that guarantee results. I've done over 12,500 cool scoping procedures. So I know how to place them the right way. It just comes down to us doing that double guarantee. And I, I'm the only one that offers that double guarantee. Wow. Okay. Well, their money back. Yeah. So, it, you know, what I'd so. like to do is take a look at everything you described to me and kind of like, you know, do, kind of dig into it a little bit. So why uh, we could have uh, you know a another conversation offline, you know. But at least this is good that you know it gives yeah, me kind of a a top level view of you know who you are, uh, you know where your business where your business yeah. is where you want to go. It also helps the people that are listening in right now as we're as we're speaking live and those that will be listening later yeah. that could generate you know you know also interest as well. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, Absolutely. so feel free to reach out to Diani and uh, she'll give you, or he would, they'll give you my all my stuff um, uh, in terms okay. of my contact information, and then they'll either either you'll send it or okay. they'll send it to me so that uh, that I can take a look at it. And I would say by the end of next week, I'll be in position where I can do a deep dive, and then I can reach out to you from there. So there's no rush. If you need to do this awesome. after Thanksgiving, that that's fine. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll get everything over to her. I sent everything to her late last night anyway, so she's got everything. She can forward it to you. Uh, what we do get on the phone call, there is something that I do want to go over. I mean, it's going to be the one-on-one -on -one yep. call with you and everything. The one thing that's really exciting about the gyms is that the existing business inside there has worked really hard. It's a brother and sister team that worked really hard. Uh, they've actually inquired it. This is where it's a game changer. It's a drop in the hat is uh, – 
the fact that they've inquired a nonprofit wanting to take 50% or just 50 square feet out of the space and they'll pay the whole entire rent because they do IV drips and they would pay the rent for those locations. So everything that comes in from those locations, they're going to be. Okay. Wow. Okay, great. Well, make sure to include that in there because Um, yeah, that will definitely be helpful. So I get it, you know, that way I can, I can connect the dots and see where, you know, there's opportunities I could potentially, I could help you in this particular area. Well, great. Okay. I'm so glad you took the time to, to reach out. Uh, we were able to connect here before Thanksgiving. I know this is a, you know, Wednesday before Thanksgiving, so it makes it sometimes difficult for people. I'm glad that we connected. Glad to see that you're a, a CEO absolutely. space member. So that's that's good. I I haven't yeah, I haven't absolutely. been since 2017, but I'm I'm hoping to get back. Uh, I know Bernie was trying to get me to come to to the one in a in a week or so. I think it's no, actually, yeah, next week. And I, um, I, I can't, yeah. I got too many uh, engagements, but definitely going to probably see if I can get back at one, one of them in Dallas here in uh, next year. Yeah, I can't, I can't this time of year either, but yeah, that, I've, I've absolutely enjoyed uh, everything that they offer. They offer one yeah. heck of a unique absolutely. <laughs> it's insane. You can learn branding, marketing, everything all under just one roof. It's, incredible the resources that are in front of you absolutely one weekend (laughs) well thank you so much i'm looking forward to continue the conversation and then yeah we'll uh we'll connect uh late next week and uh and then by then they should i should have your information that i'll have read and we'll set up a time to chat uh offline we can either set up a zoom call or something like that all right well hey have a happy thanksgiving all right talk soon Bye. Thanks. Bye.